With the polynomial 2x squared plus 12x plus 10, we got really lucky in how we got to factor, because there was a common factor of 2 between all three of these terms. But you can imagine that for some polynomials whose coefficients in front of the x squared term aren't 1, this won't be the case. Let's say, for example, that we had an 11 here instead of a 12. Then we can no longer begin the problem by dividing all the terms by this 2. So we're not going to end up with a quadratic expression with a 1 in front that we know how to factor right away. We need to figure out another method for factoring. I think we should backtrack to the thing that we first started factoring with. Let's look at the general case of a quadratic polynomial that's been factored and whose leading coefficient will be 1. We have x plus a and x plus b as our linear factors. Let's go through multiplying this out again. I know we've done it many times before. OK, so multiplying this out, we get x squared plus the quantity a plus b times x plus a b. What if instead of a and b, we want to play with real numbers? But maybe in playing with those real numbers, I want to keep the equation for the quadratic in this form. Let's say we start out with a polynomial x squared plus 5x plus 6. We know that we can rewrite this, recognizing that 2 and 3 are factors of 6 and also add to equal 5, as x squared plus the quantity 2 plus 3 times x plus 6, which pretty simply becomes x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6. Great. Now this probably all seems simple leading up until now, but now I'm going to ask you to do something a little bit different. The thing that I'd like you to do that probably will feel a little bit strange is to look first at just the first two terms here and find a factor between the two of them that's in common. Pull it out and then write the rest of the expression in here. And then do the same thing for the second pair of factors. Find a common factor and factor it out. Then write the expression that you have after that right here.